a lot of people say when you have been raped by your daughter who want to say it you know who want to share about that and and who understand about that when i was in the browser i tried many time to ask them help but no one help me no one help me before we see the trafficking is in front of us but right now the trafficking is you know really indirect every day i wake up i see the young woman and girl who are victim and survivor who are close to me like sina wang i have a chance to sit down and working with them every day so this is my courage for me i guess my heart is to help or to help the victim from sexual slavery because where is my life is to empower victim to become survivor but at the same time empower the survivor to be a part of solution when i go to the center and asking my girl what did they like and they say mommy i love painting big art you know because everything i don't thinking much i just put everything in the painting all the painting that you teaching them you participate with them because it's not just just going as a teacher you teaching them but you all like you put your heart in Art therapy session sometimes even help us with our narrative exposure therapy. For instance, a child has been sexually abused and she, he or she is not ready to talk about it. We just have to give a crayon and a paper and in course of coloring, we'll be able to know that, okay, so this child has been through a lot of terrible experiences. Remember, there is an issue of self-esteem. So this work with Beautiful Freedom the art therapy, the art you know, project, helps these children to have um, improved self-esteem, to hope and to dream. The objective of Project India is to bring, uh, bring the arts and photography and all kinds of creative energy to children who have very little access to it and to bring it to them in a way that, that they, they will never be separated from any of this. And I see value in that because I, I received that from my parents. Nelson Mandela said, education is the most powerful weapon you can use to change the world. You know, this, what you guys are creating, is an education. If you have a voice where other people do not, then you have to use your voice to defend those people. It doesn't matter if I have on jeans, skinny jeans, a mini skirt, a bustier, a bikini, or I'm played out not wearing anything. It is not an invitation for a I believe that we have such a huge voice to use. You know, we, we don't have to wait uh, um, for the next best president or for the next great senator or govern government to change things, things for us. As creative beings, we have one of the biggest voices to change things, you know, and we have the power to be involved. 